Cooking with you, baby girl, always did ease my nerves. Do you remember? We had nacho night and haircut parties for the kids at the same time. Everyone just eating and being merry. When I was taken away from you, the other women in prison cooked for each other with what we had. We made taco bowls, deep fried and coffee cans. When you cook for someone and they eat in enjoyment, it fills up something. It fills a void that we don't even know what it is. I was in the streets too. I was gang banging, I sold drugs, I did drugs. But my mama didn't look for me. My knees buckled as I closed my eyes in agony, reflected on the night I befriended the streets. How does this happen? You go to sleep, you wake up, and your whole life flashes before your eyes. I remember her anger. Oh, the judge was so angry. But I did everything she and the social workers told me to do, to fight for y'all with as my right, as a woman, to be a mother. I stood by myself on this fight. Every time I walked into court, her face was like, bitch, you ain't broke yet? When I got out, I searched for you, Kishana. They had all those police officers and social workers on the case, but I found you living on Skid Row. I can just drive down Crocker Street, and there you are, standing near a tent, people everywhere. And no one could save you but you. The pain is paralyzing with every heartbeat. I yearn to cook for my baby girl. And yet, you don't even want to be in the same house as me. The one day I got you to come home has been on instant replay. I knew that you were going to get some rest, eat a hot home-cooked meal, and take a needed bath. I saw the rage fester as you looked around at pictures of your kids. Hate flowed from your lips like lava. I couldn't take it anymore. I went into the kitchen and started frying some chicken while my mom put you in the bathtub. We could see all the scars on your body, but you wouldn't tell us who was abusing you. The sound of the chicken frying comforted me. There had been no one to cook for in my house for so long. My mom started talking to me, but I wouldn't look her in her eye. As her lips moved, all I could think was, how do you expect for me to be able to understand this and be here for her when you weren't here for me? No one taught me how to do this. But here's the thing about cooking for someone. Everything that's going to go on after that, good or bad, is still going to go on but you do it anyway for that one moment of comfort. You are worth showing up for, baby girl. Thank you.